Hello, I'm Scott from Wartime NI, and I'm in Tomb, County Antrim. The village lies in the northern edge of Loch Ney, in close proximity to the Ban and Moyola rivers. Although low-lying and often waterlogged, this did not stop wartime authorities from earmarking the land, planning and constructing an airfield about a mile west of the village. Construction began in January 1942, and the following year, on the 2nd of January 1943, the airfield became operational with the arrival of the Royal Air Force. Within a few months, however, the United States Army Air Force had expressed an interest in the site. The completed airfield site consisted of three concrete runways, 30 pan-type hard standings, around 150 buildings and two pairs of T2 hangars. A taxiway of three miles long connected the tarmac reinforced runways. At around 1,780 yards by 50 yards, runway 2 was the largest. Runway 1 measured 1,300 yards by 50 yards and the final runway ran to a length of around 1,385 yards. The Moyola River split the airfield in two. The functional part of the airfield lay on one side with domestic buildings on the other. A narrow bridge connected the two. The great Irish poet Seamus Heaney wrote about Tomb in his work A Drink of Water. The American bombers groaned towards the aerodrome at Tomb Bridge. The American troops manoeuvre in the fields along the road. But all of that great historical action does not disturb the rhythms of the yard. The formal handover of RAF Tomb to 8th United States Army Air Force took place on the 26th of July 1943. The airfield then operated as U.S. AAF Station 236 until October 1944. Under American control, the site was a training and storage facility. American engineers constructed additional finger-type standings for up to 50 further planes. From the 23rd of August 1943, during occupancy by the United States military, two airfields saw use as a combat crew replacement center. The USAAF used a total of four sites in Northern Ireland to train bomber crews between 1942 and 1944. Tomb was the first of the four to become operational, with the arrival of Martin B-26 Marauders and Douglas A-20 Havocs of 3rd CCRC. By August 1944, American activity at Tomb was at its peak with 158 medium bomber crews trained. Although 3rd CCRC fell under 8th United States Army Air Force, these crews joined operational units within the 9th. The training courses were 2-3 to three week refresher sessions to add to training already received in the USA. Subjects included navigation and communications on site and gunnery and bombing runs over the waters of Loch Ney. During its time as USAF Station 236, Tomb was a series of dispersed billets, mess halls, classrooms and administrative buildings. American air crews used British bicycles to navigate the site and local anecdotes suggest there were many accidents as fast pedalling Americans grew used to the British braking systems. Some locals still suggest there's a wealth of old destroyed bicycles buried around the perimeter. There were other incidents at Tomb too. Not all those who left on training exercises returned. Tragically, several crews would find themselves victims of fatal incidents on high ground around Ulster, having taken off from the County Antrim airfield. The American military handed the airfield back to the RAF on the 7th of November 1944. There was little flying activity from Tomb during the following years, and it ended its days as a naval repair yard before closing in 1959.